One of my favorite supplements is glycine because it covers many of the important things related to longevity. However, there are a lot of human clinical trials showing that the combination of glycine and NAC, also called Glynac, has been seen to reverse multiple hallmarks of aging. In this video, I'm going to cover these studies and talk about the benefits of Glynac. It's showtime. Let's start with the main issue, which is the increased oxidative stress that happens with aging. During aging and in various disease states, you see an increase in oxidative stress characterized by reactive oxygen species, inflammation, and cell senescence. The reason all the people have higher levels of oxidative stress has to do with the fact that their antioxidant defense systems aren't working that well. Older individuals have been seen to have significantly lower glutathione levels than younger people. It's been found that raising glutathione levels with glycine and NEC can correct this glutathione deficiency and as a result improve health status and the hallmarks of aging. The glutathione deficiency in older people appears to be caused by a significant reduction in glutathione synthesis. Synthesis. Glutathione is called the body's master antioxidant because it governs a big proportion of the antioxidant defense. Glutathione is made of primarily glutamine, cysteine, and glycine, which are amino acids. Glutathione synthesis is rate limited by glycine, making glycine the bottleneck for glutathione synthesis. It's been found that glutathione deficiency in aging is primarily caused by a deficiency in cysteine and glycine, but not glutamine. Both NAC and glycine have been shown to increase glutathione levels. A 2023 randomized clinical trial found that supplementing Glynac for 16 weeks in older adults improved glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondria dysfunction, inflammation, physical function, and seven hallmarks of aging. The authors claim that only glynac supplementation in older adults resulted in significantly improved A glutathione concentrations by 121% after two weeks and by 164% after 16 weeks to levels not different from younger adults. Another 2021 clinical trial discovered that glynac supplementation for 24 weeks in older adults corrected red blood cell glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, and mitochondrial dysfunction. However, the benefits started to go away after stopping glynac supplementation for 12 weeks. This suggests that older people might need to keep taking glynac to maintain the benefits of fixing glutathione deficiency. Even healthy old individuals have been seen to have higher baseline oxidative stress compared to younger individuals and taking glynac raises glutathione levels in them. There's also a 2022 study on mice that found glynac supplementation increased lifespan by 24% compared to the control mice by fixing glutathione deficiency and some of the hallmarks of aging. Another 2023 study on mice found glynac supplementation improves brain glutathione deficiency and was able to reverse age-related cognitive decline. These are obviously mouse studies and we have no idea whether or not glynac supplementation would have any life extension effects in humans. But we do have a lot of human clinical trials by now showing how glynac supplementation improves the hallmarks of aging and many of the age-related conditions. Glutathione is very important in preventing cardiovascular disease and neurodegeneration. Obviously you can't prevent these medical conditions with Glynac, but there is evidence that glycine and NAC can improve some of the biomarkers related to higher risk of cardiovascular disease. In older adults, glycine levels are inversely associated with metabolic syndrome and cardiometabolic traits. Supplementing with glycine improves metabolic syndrome, including diabetes, obesity, hyperlipidemia, and hypertension. Patients with type 2 diabetes have glutathione deficiency. Glutathione synthesis is decreased in diabetic patients, which can be restored with cysteine and glycine supplementation. There's a lot of evidence suggesting glycine improves insulin sensitivity and glucose homeostasis through enhancement of insulin secretion. Whether or not glynac supplementation would have any benefits for younger individuals, we don't know either. It certainly has a positive effect in the elderly people because those individuals have lower levels of glutathione. But like we just showed, individuals who are experiencing a certain disease state like metabolic syndrome or diabetes, those individuals also have depleted glutathione levels because of the disease state. So even if you're young but you're experiencing more oxidative stress and your glutathione levels are low, then glynac supplementation can help to raise your glutathione levels. The older you become or the more disease states you have, then your glutathione levels will decrease. The reason you don't want to take straight glutathione to fix the glutathione deficiency and boost antioxidant defense is because it can actually cause increased oxidative stress. For example, excess administration of NAC alone or glutathione has been shown to cause insulin resistance, mitochondrial dysfunction, cellular toxicity, and accelerated aging. What's more, the reactive oxygen species are important cell signaling molecules that you don't want to completely eradicate the same way you don't want to eliminate the reactive oxygen species caused by exercise. So how much glycine and NAC you would need to get those benefits. One of the 2022 studies found that a low dose of Glynac, 2.4 grams of both glycine and NAC, 
wasn't enough to raise glutathione, but a medium dose of 4.8 grams and a high dose of 7.2 grams each did. In the human studies, glycine and NAC are usually given at a dose of around 100 milligrams per kilogram per day and 98 milligrams per kilogram per day for NAC. So I weigh around 80 kilograms, so for me that would be 8 grams of glycine a day and 7.8 grams of NAC per day. If you're an older person who might be a bit more frail and you weigh around 50 kilograms, Kilograms, then you would need 5 grams of glycine and 4.9 grams of NAC. However, keep in mind that's only for supporting the glutathione synthesis. Your glycine demand might be significantly higher than that of NAC. In total, you need at least 15 grams of glycine a day from various sources to support collagen turnover, glutathione, creatine and heme synthesis. You can check out my other video about how much glycine you actually need. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.